And yet again, meanwhile I'm really poor and trying to get some money through doing Slayer, I am getting a Draconic Visage from uh, Celestial Dragons. And I actually don't really know how much it alks for, let's see what it is. 450k, that's actually not too bad and I do not have the smithing level to be able to make it into a shield and alk that for like a million. So I'm just going to alk this for sure, but that's quite a decent start to the video I guess, getting some money straight off the bat. Got some quick siphoning to do, so let's get 67 invention I think it's going to be, so let's just get that real quick. And I do not actually have any charge in my gear currently, so I'm going to have to go to the wilderness or something in a bit and try to get more charge. But for now I'm just going to do Slayer without it. Would be extremely sweet to get a very good hard clue in the beginning of the video. And well, it's actually not that bad, it's a lot of alkyballs and the ticket skews the price a bit, but it's not too bad, I can reroll the next one at least. So we can reroll this clue, but let's see if we need to do that, and we get pfft, Robin Hood hat. Okay, so I already have that, that's a sick as reward. So actually, I will keep that, I'm not going to be rerolling a Robin Hood hat, alright? I do already have it, so it's a duplicate, but... I don't know, I think I have it placeholdered, so I can put this into the back. Not placeholder, I have it in the, um, what is the thing where you like, make your gear look like something. Yeah, this thing right here, the overrides, I have it on the overrides, so, uh, yeah, I can put this into my bank. So that's not, not too bad. So it's not a clue scroll, but almost the same thing, it's a new month, so we're now going to be opening the oysters, so hopefully get something good this time. And, well, that is terrible. Thanks anyways, 465k in Alex, pretty much. It's actually kind of crazy how much free fishing experience I get from this as well. I was like 100k of 90 and I'm 500 experience of now so I might even get to finish it here. So yeah, I get 90 and how much more can I get? Probably not that much. Yeah, like that was the limit. So I get like 100k every month just for free for like 20 seconds of doing this. But I guess that's another milestone level and I think... Oh, rock tails, I can do that now? I thought I was at 92. Maybe it's like cooking at 92 or something to be able to cook them. I don't know. I, I think it's around that. Rock tail 93. All right. So I need a bit more cooking to be able to cook them. But that's pretty sweet, actually, to get 90 fishing. Not actually too bad of a hell of a trip for Reaper assignment. I'm just going to leave so I don't get destroyed. But I got 15 Reaper points and 17k Slayer. So that's not too bad actually. 21 million Slayer experience overall. And this is all the loot that I got. Magic, Logs, uh, Coal, Dragon Stones and then Runite Ore. And I also did get one Sirenic Essence. And if I have two of each I can upgrade one of these items. Which I don't actually have. I don't have the Magic one. I think this is the Magic one. And then I need... Well this is three alright. So the chest I need three four and then this one i need two four and then this is the i'm not sure yeah this is the head i need one for that so if i get all those from the different bosses i think i already have the samurakian essence and maybe the Sar sarosian i'm not sure but if i get one of each i can upgrade one of my anima core items which are the ranged one that's the only one i have to a tier 85 and then how it works is it goes down it degrades and when it degrades to zero it just becomes my normal tier 80 again so it's always Always worth doing it I feel like it is at least I haven't actually done thieving in a long time and it's one of those skills that I don't have 80 yet which is including also rune crafting and invention so I'm going to try to get 80 thieving now and I'm going to be hitting 76 when I open this unless I get bitten no I did not so that's 76 thieving so only four more levels to go so let's get it Alright, that's 80 thieving accomplished just on the time, so that's pretty sweet to get that. And, uh, well, during all this grind, I did actually get the Black Ibis Mask, and I was like, should I use this or the exoskeleton thing? But apparently, it's actually just put into this. So, as soon as you get one of these Black Ibis pieces, which there are four of, yeah, you can see on the list there, there are the mask, the body, the legs, and the boots. If you get all of them, I think it's four, or maybe if you have all the pieces, 5% more thieving experience, and it's just automatically put into your exoskeletons. If I do this, check, then yes, it has the benefits, and then if you have looted black ibis from pyramid plunder, this stuff will have the same benefit. So that's pretty sweet, so you can still get the effect from this, even if you uh, do not equip the item. Alright, so I just had a 9 kill Vindicta assignment and I get 15 Reaper points for that, not too bad. And overall, if I don't get interrupted on my past the barrier here, uh, I have 89 assignments done. So the next one is going to be a bit of a small milestone, you could say, 90 assignments. Pretty neat that I've done that many. Uh, but this is all the loot that I got and I don't really need much food to do Vindicta at all because in the second phase at 100k HP, I just use the uh, resonance thing and I don't need to do any healing at all with my food. So that's really neat 
and I can do a lot of kills now with the Noxious Staff, which also is a huge help, obviously, to the Soul Split healing and all that, so that's uh, a okay. So there are two goals I want to complete in this video and I'm going to be completing both of them in the same way. And I'm going to be using my Ascension Keystones. I have so many of them. I have like 400 that I'm not doing anything with because I already have the signets from them. But I want to get the first one goal is 96 summoning. And I'm going to be doing that through using the keys, killing the legions and getting a bunch of the charms. Because they drop 4 every single time. 25. I, I don't know the actual drop rates, the percentage chances of getting blue, crimson, green, all that. But every single time I kill legions I get a shit ton of charms basically So I'm going to be killing legions for the charms and using the keys and the second goal is exactly the same thing I'm going to be killing legions to get sirenic scales to be able to get 42 so I can actually make the chest plate Which is the last piece of my sirenic set so we're just going to be killing legions But meanwhile doing that I'm going to also be getting some wisps because I need to do uh, Invention meanwhile doing this and currently I have no charge So I'm just going to start off by getting some energies so I can get in some invention gains meanwhile doing this as well Alright, so I just got my first signet and everyone is like, is that your last signet? Is that the Quintus one? I'm sorry guys, it's not. It's actually my Secunda signet, which is a duplicate. It's great to have a duplicate, it's not a triplet or anything, so I won't be needing any more of the Secunda signets unless I want to make a defender or something in the future, but the first drop is going to be a Secunda signet. Now, I did get one scale overall also from this boss, which is pretty cool, but I still have like 40 keys in the bank, so we will probably get a bunch of scales from this case. Well there we go, that's the signet for the defender. Now I have three of the Secunda signets. Pretty sweet. So I just disassembled my Sun Spear for 68 invention and my gear is actually uncharged now so I cannot get any more invention experience and I'm not really going to go back to energies and farm even more of them for hours on hours to be able to finish up the keys and actually still get experience from it in invention. So for now this is all I'm going to be doing for invention and that's 68. Now listen, I'm sure this is a crazy coincidence but I just got two back to back Sirenic scales and I removed my Ring of Wealth. Yes, because I was like, the drop rate is apparently 1 in 8, and I haven't got a single scale in the past 150 kills. That is finishing my Secundus keys, my Primus keys, and almost, well, this is the last Quartus key that I have left. So I've done so many keys, and the amount of scales I've got is just nothing really. But then I removed my Ring of Wealth, just because I was like, yeah, maybe it does something, I don't know. I have no clue. May might be the craziest coincidence ever. But I just got two back to back. So I'm now, I now do have 42. But that's pretty crazy. I'm going to go and make that chest plate. But yeah, I have no idea. If you guys know anything about that, please let me know. But that's strange. Really strange. Just looking at the amount of charms that I have in the bank, as well as the ones I have in my bag, and the keys that I have left that I could possibly kill the legions of, I'm not really sure I will be able to get the charms to be able to get 96 summoning. I don't really feel like using the green charms, but maybe I have to. The experience rates on those is just terrible. But I will be using the charms that I have, at least the blues and the crimsons, and if I get fairly close, I might start trying out the green ones as well, but we will have to see. But for now, I'm going to be using the 42 siren scales that I got, so let's do this and make that last Sirenic piece. I have to say, good thing I got so much Alkyballs from killing all those legions because my money is kind of dead right now. I did have to buy three of these, which is 1.5 million worth, but it's definitely worth it. Let's just make this chest plate now and complete the set, craft that. How much experience do you get? 1.5k, not too great, but still, that is the set completed. I'm not going to augment this chest anyway, so I'll just equip it and, uh, well, that is pretty goddamn sexy, I have to say. Holy shit. Full Sirenic. So overall, how many scales is that? 42, 28, and 12? Is that it? I don't know, man. I, I can't keep track of this shit, but I think it's like around 70 maybe for the full set. Maybe a bit less or even more than that, but that's a lot of scales, and I'm really happy to, that I have it completed now. It looks really cool as well, so that's quite an accomplishment to have done. Now I just need to get that Quintus Signet so I can get that Ascension Crossbow to match it. So I did just complete all the blue charms and all the crimson charms and I did also try out to make 150 of the bungee pouches. It, they do cost raw sharks which could be cooking experience which is a pain in the ass and also it does cost a lot of spirit shards so I would never recommend doing it because after doing 150 and getting like 3k experience per inventory I just felt like it's not going to work and even if I use all these uh, green charms that I have it's not going to be enough to hit 96 summoning so it just didn't feel like a good thing to do. Uh, I'm 
have currently 487,000 experience off 96, so I'm getting fairly close. I don't know how much this is off, like, from 95 to 96, but I would say 50% done with the level. Uh, I'm going still to complete this level in this video because I really want to get it done. Uh, but I'm not going to be using the keys again. Killing legions just take way too long and it's a bit of supplies for me to use. And it's not actually that great of charms. I thought it would be way better. It's still decent, but it's not that great. So I'm just going to be doing Slayer instead and just do it until I get the charms for... I'm going to calculate how many I need and then just use them all up when I have it. So I'm going to be doing Slayer and hopefully some clues with that as well. I kind of vaguely remember seeing Dovidas, aka a friend on YouTube, getting gilded plate legs worth like 7.4 million or something on old school RuneScape. I don't know how long ago, but quite some time ago on this spot right here. So I'm feeling like I'm going to get lucky. So let's see what we get for the reward. That is oh, terrible. Actually, I already have a rune cane. That would be a unique, I guess, otherwise. I already have the age 5 as well. So yeah, nothing too great, but we can't re -roll, So let's just do that. Let's see if it if it's an upgrade. 105k to 109k. Well, it is a it's an upgrade at least. Just a quick pro tip if you're doing this clue scroll right here where you have to wear a mud pie to be able to spawn the double agent. Make sure you actually put auto retaliate off because otherwise this is a ranged weapon and you will throw it and it will land on the ground and sometimes you just miss it or you don't even realize you lost it. And then you have to make a new mud pie which really sucks and also the ammo can just randomly disappear and your pie is just gone forever. And that did happen to me once so just always remember to put auto retaliate off when you do this clue scroll. But anyways let's open the hard currency what we get and that's uh, 76k it's actually worse than the last one but actually it's not that bad because i need a uh, nature runes so i only have 215 left so not too bad actually fastest clip in my entire video 104 slayer obtained sweet so I've been doing Slayer for 6 hours now and I've only got 100 blue charms and 300 crimsons. Yes, that is terrible. All the assignments that I've got are pretty shit and also I don't really have the points to be able to skip many of them. I have like 200 points, so I can skip some of them, but if I just keep on skipping and skipping and skipping, it just won't work out. So instead I'm just going to be doing a water fiends to be able to get the charms for 96 summoning, but also that is going to take quite some time. I need to do about probably 800 kills because I need roughly 800 crimsons from from where I'm currently at which is about 400,000 experience and that's if I do it with a 20% boost which I also might have to wait a couple of hours for to activate so I'm just going to actually end it here I'm sorry I couldn't get 96 summoning to end the video off on I really did want to and I did really try to get it but it's just too slow it's actually really really slow I thought it would be way faster because I just usually do slayer or pvming or bossing and just get charms and I'm like oh 2000 and blue charms that's nothing you get that so easily but actually it is fairly slow to do it so uh, now I've realized that and learned that at least but I'm going to start the next video off by getting 96 summoning just right off the bat so it's going to be done and it's going to be my priority and after that I'll just make pack axe that I can boss with boss with which is going to be great so I uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys did enjoy it please leave a like if you did and that Robin Hood hat in the beginning was pretty juicy but thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.